If you have OSHA compliance questions or concerns, Pike Group's got you covered. Hey, Captain Joe here for Head First Fishing. We're at St. Pete Fishing Outfitters, and I want to talk to you for just a second about grouper trolling. A lot of people don't know that you can clean up on gag grouper by trolling these big plugs across live bottom and near reefs. So here's a couple of my favorite plugs uh, that'll do the job. A lot of times you're going to be trolling in about 20 to 40 feet of water, maybe slightly more than that, and you're going to need a deep diving plug to get down there and get that lure in the fish's faces. The ideal zone to get the strike is having that lure come just across the bottom, maybe kicking across the bottom every once in a while, but definitely not too high off the bottom and not dragging in the bottom. You want that down there in the strike zone where the gag grouper are generally towards closer to the bottom. So I've got this Rapala X-Rap 30-foot diver, Rapala X-Rap 40-foot diver, and then I also got this man's Stretch 30 Plus. That's a really good and popular choice for grouper trolling. Um, so you're going to need some pretty good size, probably conventional rod and reels uh, to get the job done. They're going to need to be sturdy and heavy duty. You don't want some wimpy rods and you're going to need some pretty strong line. Uh, maybe anywhere 40 to 50 pound test at least. You may go heavier than that. Uh, but uh, grouper trolling is a lot of fun. You cover a lot of ground and uh, if you get some good spots, some good live bottom and around some of these wrecks around here, you can really catch a lot of grouper. So I uh, hope these tips help you. Come by St. Pete Fishing Outfitters, pick up some of these plugs, and get out there and start trolling. You'll catch some grouper if you get around some good bottom, I promise you that.